Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's olive branch to the royal family is at risk of snapping just days after being extended. The Duke of Sussex reached out to his father on Tuesday to wish him a happy 75th birthday. Meghan Markle also spoke to the king on his birthday despite choosing not to attend his coronation earlier this year. The gesture from the Sussexes looked to have been the first step for constructive talks with the royal family. According to reports, Prince Harry intends to call his father again in November. However, the day after King Charles's birthday, the first extracts of Omid Scobie's bombshell royal book Endgame were released. The extracts contained claims including Prince William ignoring his brother on the day Queen Elizabeth II died and Harry being left to fend for himself by the royal family. Scobie previously wrote the biography Finding Freedom on Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have denied links to the royal author, with sources close to the couple saying they had nothing to do with Endgame. However, in 2021 Meghan apologized in court for failing to remember authorizing a senior aide to brief Scobie and his co-author Carolyn Durand when they were working on Finding Freedom. The Duchess of Sussex submitted a statement saying she could not remember emails she had sent to her press secretary, Jason Knopf, about the unauthorized book. Meghan's statement said, I accept that Mr. Knopf did provide some information to the authors for the book and that he did so with my knowledge for a meeting that he planned for with the authors in his capacity as communications secretary. The extent of the information he shared is unknown to me. When I approved the passage, I did not have the benefit of seeing these emails and I apologize to the court for the fact that I had not remembered these exchanges at the time. I had absolutely no wish or intention to mislead the defendant or the court. On Thursday, Scobie rubbished claims that Meghan and Harry have had any involvement with his latest book. He posted on social media, It's not Harry and Meghan's book. I'm not Meg's pal. The Sussexes have nothing to do with it. The initial extracts from the book will have alarmed senior members of the royal family. A royal source claimed that William and Kate appear to be Scobie's number one target. The insider added that the extracts have opened up old wounds in the royal family. Despite Meghan and Harry distancing themselves from the book, its release will create further tension between the couple and senior royals while undoing any progress made by the phone call to the king. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.